Hey guys and girls? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, it's time to finally present you Hardwebs, but before I go ahead, I want to make a short statement about the delay. Normally I'm taking care of the stuff you guys send me as soon as I can, but this time I'm almost two months late. TWO MONTHS! This is because I really didn't feel like doing a Doom video in the past month. Jay Waffy, or short Jay, who sent me this file to play it, is waiting for so long now about a response. First of all, I want to make clear that project started immediately after I received that message, but I lost the project file. It was saved accidentally between all the temporary junk files and I just deleted the entire folder's content, including the progress I made so far. After that accident, even Undelete couldn't help, I totally put the entire YouTube thing back. But right now, I am on vacation and it's really time to finally play it. Here is the original message from mid-September. Now it's almost mid-November. Jesus Christ, so bad I don't lose more time. The file is about 500 kilobytes small and contains two maps. Map 1 looks pretty interesting, even though I'm not the guy who's playing the super hard mode weapon mods, whatever, because I'm already struggling at ultra violence regular Doom 2. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's do this. I don't feel well prepared, but it might be fun to watch me suffering anyways. Well, it's pretty dark in here. Only the armor is shining. And the very strange weapon selection. A rocket launcher and a plasma rifle. No shotgun or chain gun, something you would usually expect here. Outside there are more dark halls and a bunch of demons. I really feel like wasting ammo here. I could try to fist them, but this is a shooter, right? And I want to shoot stuff, not starting brawls. Oh shit, Revenants. So you have to choose to fight these guys with either a blast damage weapon or the safer plasma gun with low ammo. And I'm almost dead in the first room. Fair enough, I haven't touched Doom or any other first person shooter for months, but man, I'm not made to play maps like that, but it's a request and I want to fulfill it no matter how much I will die. Speaking about dying, <laughs> I am dead already. <laughs> the other door leads us to a lift and a medikit. But first I want to turn the music off because yeah, I really like running from evil but not in this case. I really can enjoy it here. I really hope this is changed in the final map because it doesn't fit the map very well in my opinion. Oh hi, I can see you. I can see you. Now that is a problem. There is no way to fight this guy. I have 14 cells left and the only uh, alternative I have is the rocket launcher. Uh, not so good. The pistol could help and fisting him is the best solution, but since he has some more friends in this room, there is no way to plan a fight. It is more like a failed attempt of me to find a safe spot and to choose what weapon to use here. The magic weapon against Revenants, the chain gun, is not available yet. And guess what? I am down. <laughs> Wait a second, I just saw something. And some asshole is drilling holes in the walls or removing tiles in the apartment below me since 7 o'clock in the morning. And it's driving me crazy. I hope it's not audible in this video. So we have this elevated spot up here and are at least safe from the pinkies. Oh shit, that sucked. <laughs> I right fully deserve the Darwin Award here. As far as I know, Chase stated this map is vanilla compatible, so using free look to aim is like cheating, I guess. <laughs> look at these cardboard cutouts. Billboard sprites from above are hilarious looking. Ow! Oh well, he didn't like me saying that. 
The map design is very well done. It has this very doomish feeling to me with the surreal things like these moving pillars, rocket and nukage pools, and mostly a brownish r environment with a bunch of computer consoles. Feels like an episode 1 map rather than trying to be the next GTA 5 clone in Doom. But even if I might repeat myself here, I really don't like the way I'm forced to rely on the rocket launcher. Just check out how many rockets are around and like only two or three cell packs. Also, the ammo and the medikit is in a hazmat environment, so you are getting punished for picking these up. It might add to the thrill to be fast, but what is that medikit worth if I lose that health while trying to get it? <laughs> oh god, I suck! I suck so bad! I played this on the day before and I just realized while post editing that I really tried to hit these enemies on a moving platform with a projectile weapon like the rocket launcher. Yes, I'm retarded. But that also prevents you from getting hit by this man QB. The fights on these pillars is quite refreshing and shows the good ideas Jay had in mind while doing these maps. I'm not quite proud to present you one of the worst deaths in my life as Doom Gamer. <laughs> I really like this one, getting pushed to the side by that rocket and dying by my very own one. <laughs> I really recommend you to save often, and with often I mean after killing all the guys in a single room you're in. These maps are so full with try and error situations it's very frustrating to people like me. Not that I rage or rant about it, but the amount of tough and annoying enemies like these revenants and being forced to stick to rockets only is a joy killer to me. This arc while around here is a good example. You have to get rid of him fast, else he's going to revive his buddies. But when that happened you're mostly screwed because you can't fire a single rocket while there are like 10 enemies ganging up on you and you have no other choice due to the very limited ammo for the other weapon. Sometimes it's going that far, it is even important what route that Arkwal is taking. If he is going straight behind the boxes, he will rather revive than fighting, making the situation even harder for you with more enemies around. That is another aspect to take into account while playing and that is far above my skill level. And that has only hurt me plenty. Finally! Chain guns! Woo! The counter to these annoying skeletons! I will spare that berserk pack if I can, but what the hell is this area all about? We have some outdoor area here and... Uh oh, I'm on flames! Ah, there you are and... Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh god, he can reach me! Oh shit, ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so uh, do you do you see now what I mean with try and error? You just have to die to reload and to figure out what to do. You're just always in a rush. I want to quote Wesker from Resident Evil 5 here. There is no point in hiding. And I'm not fucking kidding. Ah, uh, uh, oh, that's the exit. Fuck you guys. See you later! Oh well no, hopefully I won't see you ever again. Haha, <laughs> I did it! Woo! <laughs> and that not too bad apparently. God, I hate the sound. Revenants and arc vials. It's getting a bit tedious. There could be really a greater variation of enemies if you ask me, it's always the same. Ah! Oh. Look at this beautiful piece! Finally! It was about time, man! Finally, the. Aw, oh, man! Okay, now we can choose between red and white teleport pads. Let's go for red! Holy Jesus! Whoa! Oh! Wow! That was probably a bad decision. Shit! Ah, oh, at least he died. And his buddy doesn't mind to revive. What a jerk. Okay, just forget what I have said. Because now we have chain gunners, imps, keko demons and zombie man. 
but the main enemies are still, guess who, Revenant and Arcvius. This variation of enemies could have really helped in the first level. Replace one Revenant with 6 or 7 imps and you would have not to sacrifice that much of the challenge, but keep the player interested. Okay, putting up shotgun guys would give the player a shotgun, and that is apparently not in Jay's mind, so forget that, but still. About their overall gameplay, if you put my noobness aside, these maps are quite well done. There is some sort of classic Tomb Raider feeling in this, as in, walk over this will open that, or open that will reveal this key, and stuff like that. It's not as tube-like as many other Doom maps, and the theme is also pretty consistent, a mix of tech base with some Doom 2 influences. Some textures are not aligned properly here and there, but you won't have the time to look at this anyways, because you are mostly trying to kite rockets while preventing Arcvise to bring Hellspawn back to the pseudo life. This place with the moving yellow bars is a real pain in the ass. The try and error is hitting me hard here. First, I was ambushed from all sides, no way to retreat. But if you go carefully, you can open the first door behind you without triggering the other guys waiting. That is a good chance to go for the fight, plus all the enemies in the alcove behind you suffer heavily from pain chance, so chain gunning them down is a good way to win. I'm not sure if this was intentionally done, but it seemed to be that way. After that, you can finally wipe the other hellspun out. Due to the narrow place, this might take a few attempts, but it is surely not unbeatable. You can even try to start an infight, but that is also more about luck than actual skill. So it's up to you how to fight. What you see right now is a good example of how not to do it. <laughs> And here's an example of the infight I was talking about. That will make your life much easier. But at one point I accidentally saved in a super bad condition and overrode my good save game. And yeah, now I had to cheat. There was no way to get through the next room with 8% health. No way. Nada. Niente. Nein. So forgive the invincibility cheat here. And what the fuck is this all about? A new bug? Hmm? Alright, I'm done so far with this map. I'm cheating already, so I can't give any real feedback anymore. So I will come to an end now, and I won't give this map a rating like I'm doing it with the other ones. Simply because this is not meant to be played by me. While I fail and die, others will probably enjoy this. I can't be objective about the difficulty, so yeah, my skill level is not enough. I just can tell so far that both maps are well done. They are never super unfair, they are supposed to be challenging, and they are challenging. But this has just hurt me plenty. Some more balance about the weapons would be nice, or more ammo for the plasma gun, but this is just up to the wet author. The style is fine, the locations are in the most cases neither overcrowded nor claustrophobically small. In my opinion, however, I would like to have some sort of reward after getting myself through tougher fights. Gameplay-wise, it is often like a struggle connected to the next struggle. A place to say, woo, an armor, or just like the shotgun in the second map would help to keep the player amused, if you want to call it amusement, <laughs> but that is maybe just me. With a good and fitting music, a bit tweaking here and there, these wads are surely fun to play. The version I have reviewed here was the first revision. I received another one later, which is apparently tweaked, but I do not want to spoil it for you. If you want to give it a shot yourself, you will be most likely playing the better version. Alright, have a nice day and take care guys. See you next time. Hopefully.